Alright guys, my name is Gandalf the Grey and today I'll be showing you one of the best features of Minecraft, although many people don't know how to do it. This is downloading and installing a mod. It's just an amazing feature. Today I'll be showing you one of my favorite mods called Ray's Minimap. It's really useful, it puts a little map in the corner, I'll show it to you at the end. So Google Ray's Minimap. Enter. Open this. So you have to make sure it's 1.4.2 compatible because that's the current version. Or if, I guess if you're weird, and, um, maybe not weird, but if you like older versions of something, then you might not use the same version. But here, download, look, click the download link. This choice is from um, Adfly. Wait in a few seconds. Skip on. And there it is down in the corner there. I'm just going to drag it into my file thing there. Next, you've got to extract it. And um, by the way, this is on a Windows computer, obviously. Not a Mac. I don't have experience in Macs. I know that it's more confusing downloading a mod and accessing the files and stuff. But, like I said, only Windows. Delete that. The zip, because you don't even need it. And now you see, if you open it up, you have these three files. These are the class files, and you will need it for um, for installing the mod. Next, you need to navigate to percent, app data, percent, and then click on roaming, there, and go to dot minecraft, then bin, and you'll see this minecraft jar file. That is what you need. Um, and you won't be able to open it unless you have a special program, either WinRAR or 7-Zip. I personally use 7-Zip, so that's what I'll be showing you. Google 7-Zip. Go right there, and then just download the .exe file, and you can follow the instructions or whatever. And over here, then you navigate back to the bin file. Then you won't double-click it, because then... This is what it'll say, Java exception has occurred, that doesn't do you any good. You'll right click it, go to open with, go to 7-zip, load mine for some reason, I don't know what I did, but I have to use file manager. So there it is. Um, so I'll open up Ray's minimap over here, and just to give you a good look, I'll highlight these three files, and I'll drag them into here. Yes, copy. And note, you have to delete the meta in file right there. Some mods require you to do this, others don't. It's just easy to, easiest if you do. So then you can close out of that and then go back here and open Minecraft. And then there's my name, Gandalf the Grey. Here's this page. Login. Loading. Okay. Load it just fine. Now you'll get it'll crash if you don't delete the meta in file, which I've done in the previous video I was trying to do. Now I'm just opening the world that you have. And ta da! Look up here in the right hand corner. Isn't it just beautiful? This is Ray's minimap. Bestest features. One of them. So yeah, here's my little world. I was doing a port of for some guy. I port um, PC maps to PE and seeds and stuff. In case anybody wants to download. Um, so yeah, here it is. The corner there. Here's some features. It easily shows you your coordinates right there. Oh, it disappears if you click escape. It shows you your coordinates. It has a little map in the corner. Shows the biome. Then okay. So you can enable or disable it. Um, it can show you surface, or by biome, or by cave systems underneath you. So that's really useful. Here, death point. Uh, whenever you die, it'll show it. For example, let me see. Okay, so say it's enabled, then slash game mode zero. Um, let's just give. Gandalf. Oh, what did I do? Slash give Gandalf Grey Lava. 
fall. Okay, that's annoying. I'm used to bucket. Anyway, so um, I'll just drown myself. So yeah, if you um do that, then you and you kill yourself like I'm doing right now, it will give up a little point on there. But it's really useful. So just wait a few seconds. I may kill myself. Two, three, four, five, six. Ow! 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 Oh, it's kind of funny how it doesn't continually hurt you. It does it at certain points whenever you're drowning, but whatever. It's Minecraft after all. It's not real life. There aren't real square blocks in real life. So drown. To respawn. And there it says my death point is over there. How convenient. So, slash game. Mode 1. Creative. I could type out creative. I'm just, I don't know. I'm used to bucket stuff. So. Just fly over here, and this is a really nice um, mod too because most servers allow it. This an Optifine. Optifine is another favorite one. So there it has it. Let's see what other features here. Options, map shape. You can change it from square to round, texture, or Zen mini map array. Um, upper right, lower right, upper left, lower left. Map scales, auto, small. Um, a large archer. Um, that's just how dark it is and stuff like that. Um, large map scale, auto small. I'm not sure what that is. Um, that's just the same thing. Coordinates right there. Sable or if you can have it on. Different things like that. So, surface map different things for the surface that helps you that you're finding certain stuff and things um this is actually pretty cool apparently it can show you where the different entities are now I've never used this before so I don't know but um yeah mind if I want to do that there's that stuff and then waypoints waypoints are really nice see it shows you, you can set different waypoints, like say, um, say I want to fly on top of this tree and make, let's see, go here, waypoints, odd, let's see, happy tree of happiness, right there, see that's my coordinates and I can change the color if I really want to, but um, I don't really care, so there I have it. And then right there, happy tree of happiness. And then say, okay, so I found my death point, got all my items back. Now I can delete that by going here. Um, clicking remove, then clicking that for X, and then remove. Okay. And key config, that's just the different features. Okay. So, I hope you like my first video, which is kind of a mod review of um, raise minimap, even though it was supposed to be a mod installation guide, so it's like a double feature kind of thing. And there on my map, you can see all the different entities, which is really nice, apparently. So, just fly over to these cabs over here. See? You can see where they are. Note, some servers don't allow the caves on here. Right there. Or, um, there. Surface right there, some because the case kind of make it unfair, but you know, you can change that if you're running a server. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And my name is getting off the gray. And feel free to like, comment, and subscribe and rate the video. Like I said, this is my first one, so I did kind of well. Thank you, and goodbye.